My poo poo, my poo poo. They said they've removed subsidy, but underground, the subsidy they said they removed is ongoing. There is God who. Uh, why is it that they lie deceiving the masses, telling us what is not? At the end of the day, all their ways are all liars, all lies. Why? Former President Olusha Gumabasanjo has revealed that the fuel subsidy abolished by President Bola Tinubu's administration in 2023 has been effectively reinstated due to rampant inflation. This revelation starkly contradicts Tinubu's uh, declaration during his uh, inaugural address on uh, May 29, 2023, that the first subsidy had been permanently removed. The removal initially led to a step increase in uh, petrol price uh, from around 2200 to over 600 per liter. But why, why, why is it that all these, these governments, they are not sincere at all to the masses? In an interview with the Pre Financial uh, Times, Obasanjo criticized the government handling of the subsidy remover, arguing that essential measures should have been implemented beforehand to mitigate the economic impact. He noted that uh, the subsidy had essentially returned as inflation surged. There is a lot of work that needs to be done. Not just wake up one morning and say you removed the subsidy because of uh, inflation. The subsidy that we have uh, removed is not gone. It, is, it has come back, Papa Sanjo stated. Papa Sanjo also emphasized the importance of uh, building an uh, investor confidence in Nigeria, advocating for a shift from transactional uh, economy to a transformational uh, one. This uh, perspective aligns with broader economic uh, strategies aimed at fostering a sustainable growth and the development in the country. The reassessment of wealth subsidy is one of the key demands of the ongoing uh, nationwide protest. This protest, which began on August 1, 2024, has, been, has seen Nigerians across several states take to street under the banner of uh, end bad governance in Nigeria. The demonstrators are voicing their frustrations over economic hardships, corruption, and the inadequate uh, infrastructure. Despite facing significant uh, resistance from security agencies, including arrest and a crackdown by the police, the protests have persisted, highlighting the deep-seated grievances of the Nigerian populace. In recent broadcast, President Tinubu categorically ruled out the possibility of uh, reviving the force of it, describing its removal as a painful but necessary decision. He emphasized that the subsidy had been a major obstacle to economic growth and development, likening it to a nose around the economic jugula, jugula or of uh, our nation. The ongoing protests and the government's stance on the fuel subsidy highlight the urgent need for comprehensive uh, economic reforms and strategy measures, strategic measures to address the challenges facing Nigeria. Both the government and the influential figures like Obasanjo are calling for a renewed focus on economic development and social empowerment to stabilize the nation and uh, promote sustainable growth. My people, my people, what do you have to say about this? 
in your opinion and in the comment section comment and say your opinion and subscribe to this channel thank you and god bless amen